Hey, I'm Bridget, and this is TV Squad Daily. And I hope your weekend was better than mine. Don't ask. Surprise, surprise, Donald Trump did not have to shave his head in the whole Battle of the Billionaires bet with Vince McMahon. They both had a wrestler representing him in the ring, and the loser had to have his head shaved by the winner. That Donald's such a risk taker. I mean, he had no idea if his guy was going to win or lose. But seriously, he should have lost. And here's why. Donald Trump wants to be known as a man of action, right? Lately, all his projects are becoming less and less popular, and he's becoming known as a man of words, not action. Just known for all the feuds he's having with other celebrities. So people think of Donald, and they think of trash talking, not action, and they think of his really outdated onion loaf hairdo that's getting thinner by the day. This whole bet thing was a golden onion loaf opportunity. He should have lost the bet, been all noble businessman and stuck to his word, let him shave his head, then disappear for a while and come back with a new, cooler look. Or stayed bald. Or got no toupee. Anything would be better than what he's got going on right now. Instead, now what's his plan? We're all going to just watch the man's bouffant slowly thin and fade until it's like a transparent ghost of an onion loaf on top of his head? That's going to be creepy. And the search for the new Maytag repairman is over. And I don't want to say I'm disappointed, but... I'm a little disappointed. They built it up like this new guy was going to be unlike any other Maytag repairman ever and become some big social icon that everybody was going to love. He's going to be young and funny and good looking. The new guy is real estate agent Clay Jackson of Richmond, Virginia. He seems like a nice guy. He's just a lot like all the other Maytag repairmen. And the last thing, actor Hugh Laurie of House said he's one of those people that believes every picture someone takes of you seals a little bit of your soul. He really believes in this, thinking that if the photographer has something, that means you must have lost something. What if the photographer photocopies it like 50 times and gives it to 50 different people? They all have something. Do you lose 50 things or just the one? And he's on TV. What about video? Do they go by frame rate or do you just lose like the one per show? I don't understand, but that doesn't matter. Everyone has their own little superstitions and that's fine. I'm just saying that if you're someone who believes you have a soul, but getting your picture taken steals a little bit of your soul every time, then acting seems like an odd career choice. Because over your lifetime, that's a lot of pictures people are taking and the end of your life seems like a really bad time to be out of soul. Thanks for watching. I'm Bridget and I'll see you tomorrow here on TVSquad.com.